Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2920BH. This is a beautiful quad bunk unit. One of the things I love about Passport, it's lightweight and easily towable. This unit's almost 33 foot long and only weighs 5,500 pounds, meaning you get a ton of extra space and you can tow it with a lot of different vehicles. So let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So the first thing you'll notice is this right here, which is a propane tank cover. Of course, this hides your unsightly propane tanks. Very easy to access. Couple thumb screws open up the door. And then right there are the two 20 pound tanks. Behind that are the rails for your battery box. And then further back yet is the diamond plating. The diamond plating here, of course, is to help protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch and beat up your beautiful fiberglass front end. One other thing of note, if you take a look right over here, there is a light. So if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can go ahead and use that for some added visibility. Come around to the side here with me, and this will, of course, is the pass-through. One other thing I like to talk about, this right here, uh, it does have a covered hinge, so that way you don't have rust coming all down your door, which is nice. Open the door up, right away you'll notice the big wide space, so it's nice and easy to get in. Grills, zero gravity chairs, things of that nature. And also, you'll, if you take a look in there, you will see the aluminum framing. Uh, I love having the aluminum because it's light, it's durable, and if it ever does get wet, you don't have to worry about it rotting out. There's also a light in there, so again, if you need to get in there at night, you can easily do so. So we make our way back a little bit further, right here is the power awning. Large power awning on this camper, which is great. Touch of a button, that rolls out. Touch of a button, rolls right back in. Super simple and easy to use, one person operation. Then right underneath that awning is an LED light strip. So if you do want lights, you can just go ahead and flip a switch. You don't have to get up on a ladder or anything to hang up your Christmas lights. Um, then right underneath that are the outside speakers. So those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, hover, and this unit it is Bluetooth capable. So what you can do is you can set up all your chairs right out here underneath the awning. If you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that multimedia center via Bluetooth and be able to control your music from right out here, which is great. Speaking of going inside, it's a, it's a breeze to get in right here. You'll see three steps as well as the easy grab handle right here. That way from the very first step all the way in, uh, you have this to help guide you. And also take a look at how low that first step is. So if you do have bad knees, you know, having that third step is hugely advantageous, makes it nice and easy to climb into the coach. One other thing I like to talk about on Passport that you can't see is if underneath, this unit actually has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. The reason that's a big advantage to you, one, it keeps a lot of uh, road debris and stuff out from underneath there, you know, a lot of mud, uh, helps protect the underside. But also, if uh, you do camp in the colder seasons, if it's late fall and, you know, sometimes in the mornings or late at night, starts to get dip below freezing temperatures, it's not gonna be a problem in the Passport because as long as you have that furnace running, there's forced air down into that underbelly, so your tanks and lines aren't going to freeze up on you, which again is hugely advantageous if you camp later into the season. Uh, if you want to plug anything in out here, that's not an issue. Here you are, right there you have your two 120s, go ahead and plug in electric griddle, whatever you want. You know you have space here for a table if you want to, um, but I love that they went ahead and put that out there. So if we take a look right down at the axles, so one of the things I talked about right in the beginning about Passport, one of the things I love is the easy towability. So, you know, part of that is being lightweight, the fact this unit's under 5,500 pounds. Another part is that front end has a nice curve to it, nice and aerodynamic. And finally, this right here, load equalization axles. It's a widespread axle system, which helps reduce sway while going down the road. Even though it's lightweight, it is a longer unit. As I mentioned, it's almost 33 foot. So having those widespread axles again is a very big advantage for you. Also they're easy lube axles so later on down the road easier maintenance for you, you don't have to constantly repack the bearings uh, so again that's just another advantage. Right here's a black tank flush what that does for you is instead of having to drag a hose all the way through your camper into the bathroom and putting it down the toilet when you're breaking down camp to wash it out the black tank flush you just take that same hose screw it right in here the black tank has sprayers built in it'll go ahead and wash that right out for you. 
And as we make our way back a little bit further to the very back here, uh, this is one of my other favorite parts. You know, quad bunk unit, you're probably gonna wanna spend some time outside and this definitely allows you to do that. Large outside kitchen here, we'll go ahead and clip that right up there. Uh, but you'll see you have some extra storage right there. So if you wanna put paper plates out here, some cups, you know, you can put a stack of Solo cups, just lay them right down. You can certainly do that. Uh, cooktop, of course, you know, that if any outside kitchen, you can't call it a kitchen without some way to cook, and that's exactly what this is. So you can go ahead and pull this out. You'll see the wash basin right here. This guy just screws right in, and that, of course, is your sink. Uh, this is two outside shower hose there. Two burner cooktop, so you gotta love that. As I mentioned, nice and easy to cook. And then underneath is a propane quick connect. So you can either hook this guy up to it, or if you have a grill or something you wanna hook up, you can certainly do that as well. The other part I love about the Passport outside kitchen, take a look at that. Huge countertop extensions, you have that on both sides. So it takes what appears to be a small, smaller outside kitchen, makes it into a very usable workspace. So I love that they did that. I think that again is just a very large advantage. And then last but not least right here, of course, is the refrigerator. Uh, that way you can put all your condiments, couple beverages and stuff out here as well. Come around to the back with me real quick. On the bumper is the spare tire. Uh, this does have a cover on there, help protect it from the elements. You know, I love having a spare tire just for that extra peace of mind. That way, uh, you know, hopefully nothing ever happens, but in the event that you do, or that it does, you're really gonna appreciate having this guy mounted on the back. Nice curved roof, you look at that roof line, that way any water that, uh, you know, does, uh, if it does rain, it's not just gonna sit up on the roof, it'll naturally run off to the sides. We have rain gutters, will take it to the front and back, so that way it's not dumping down on your campsite. Come around to the off door side with me here. Open this guy up. This is really neat too. One of the things I love about this floor plan is the versatility with this right here. So you have an extra loading door. And this bunk actually folds up. You can see this handle. So this guy will actually fold right up for you. You can see it's strut assisted there. You have a couple lights in here. Um, so, you know, this is great for carrying. You know, for while you're traveling, you can put, you know, just a multitude of things in here. If you have, you know, some bikes, you might be able to sneak a bike or two in here, some kids' bikes. Um, but, you know, I just love the fact that it's easy access and especially you know if you're not traveling if you don't not using all four bunks you can leave this here to have a ton of space otherwise of course you can drop that down uh, as a bunk so you know put things in there you're gonna take out bikes grills things like that last but not least right here is the outside shower so you know this does have um, the, the hot and cold access here so if you do want to go ahead and wash off you certainly can all right, it's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 2920BH. This particular model is in the rattan interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen right here. One of the things I love about the kitchen in Passports is the countertop space. You can see you have a ton of prep space here, which is phenomenal, especially because they also give you the sink top covers. Speaking of, we'll go ahead and lift these up and off. You'll see these are cutting board quality, so if you wanna use them as cutting boards, you can certainly do that. Then when you're done, just go ahead and flip them over, put them right back, and no one is the wiser. Uh, also, the double bowl sink, of course, larger bowl on the left, smaller on the right, along with the high-rise faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. Also, right over here is the Atwood three burner cooktop, high output right there in the front. Uh, great flame control, and open it up right there, of course, is the oven if you wanna do any baking. One of the things I love about having big countertop space means you have big storage underneath. So let's start right over here at the front by the door. I'll open this guy up for you. You can see right here, big storage right there. It's one of the uh, couple access points. You have about three access points to this storage area. That being one of them. We'll open this up right over here for you. Take a look at that. Huge storage up top and two very large full extension drawers down below. And then also as we move around, last but not least for the storage under there, right there is another access point. Uh, that's underneath the sink, so great spot for all of your cleaning supplies or whatever else you wanna stuff down there. 
Then as we move up top a little bit, right here's a fully functional hood with the light and a fan. Microwave, weight of the unit, we went ahead and put that on there, 5,430 pounds. So as I mentioned, for almost a 33 foot trailer, that is nice and lightweight. Raised panel cabinetry, I love that they did this, gives it a nice, nice pop, you know, kind of shows the quality that Passport's putting in the units. Brush nickel pulls here, open that up and you can see the additional pantry space there. Also, you have a nice big window here, let in a lot of natural light during the day, and underneath, LED lights to give you that light at night. Now, this uh, coach does have LED lights throughout. A couple big advantages of LED lights. One, they don't put out near the heat the incandescent bulbs do, and two, they use a fraction of the power. So that way, if you are out camping where you don't have shore power and you're running off battery power, you will truly appreciate having the LED lights. Rounding out the kitchen right here is the fridge freezer combo. You can take a look, six cubic foot there. You have a cutout here, so if you have taller items like half gallon of orange juice or milk, you can go ahead and put that right in there, no issues. Uh, this guy does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. So what that means for you is if you are running it off of propane, as soon as you plug that into shore power, as long as you have it set on auto, it will automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on the propane gas. Now right over here is the bathroom. So let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, again, I like the bathroom setup in here. Right down here is the toilet. You can see you do have ample leg room in front, which is great. Then right next to that, look at that huge cutout you have. So uh, plenty of space whether you wanna put a magazine rack there, a trash can there, huge countertop as well. I love having a lot of countertop space. You don't see that very often in RVs. So having that big countertop's wonderful. Of course, the sink top, storage underneath there. And then as you move up, you have the mirrored medicine cabinet with additional storage behind that. Over to the side is the tub shower, which is exactly what you want when you have kids. That way if you need to give them a bath, you can go ahead and do so. And then as I mentioned, this is a bunkhouse model. So as we take a walk back into the bunkhouse here, a couple of quick things to show you. This is a quad bunk unit, uh, 300 pound weight limit on the top bunks, which is great. Uh, Teddy bear bunk series on here too. So it's a very soft bunk. It's gonna be a nice mattress. That way the kids are gonna get a decent night's sleep. So of course bunk here, one here, which the outside kitchen is underneath. Now on the other side, you have the top bunk here as well. Nice big window LED lights. This is the one that does lift up. I showed you that when we were outside. Then as we move our attention to the back here, I like this TV set up right there. So that way, you know, everyone can enjoy the TV. Uh, and the other cool thing, open this up, take a look at the storage. This is great. Up at the top, you actually have a hanging rod. So you can hang the clothes up there. And then down below, you have excellent shelving there as well. Then as we take a step out of the bunk room right here, you have the versatile storage you see in every passport. So uh, this you can do one of two things with. You can see you have a hanging rod up there. So if you wanna use that to hang additional clothes, you can do that. Uh, you know, you can remove the shelves in there. Or if you wanna use it for additional pantry space, you can do that too. So it gives you the flexibility based upon your needs. Then right out here in our main kitchen area, of course, this is our kitchen slide, or our, uh, our slide out in the kitchen area. You have a big U dinette here, as well as the jackknife sofa right there. Uh, as I did mention, this is in the rattan interior, which is what you see here. And one of the things I like that Passport did for their uh, you know, late 2016 going into 2017 models is this. Instead of having fabric on the seats, they went ahead and upgraded that to leather, which is awesome because you know this is a bunkhouse unit. So if you have younger kids, you know, and whether their shorts are wet from being out swimming or they come in and they spill something, this just makes it a lot easier to clean up. You don't have to worry about um, staining any of your fabric. The other cool thing about a U dinette, of course, is it gives you the space. So if everyone wants to sit around, play a game, have a meal together, you can do that. And it makes a very large bed. So if you have additional guests that need to stay the night, you can go ahead and take these two posts out, the table drops down, and the U dinette forms into a bed that is large enough to sleep two adults. Then right over here is the jackknife sofa. Again, this is all leather, which is great. Uh, one of my favorite parts about the jackknife is this right here. Take a look at all the storage underneath. Big storage, easy to access, great place for extra bedding or again, whatever else you wanna put down there. Uh, but you know, this is a great spot to sit if you wanna watch which, the TV, which is right here. 
So our entertainment center, um, of course you have your TV here. I did mention the multimedia center when we were outside. This controls your speakers outside as well as your speakers in here. They are different zones, so you can go ahead and control those individually. Uh, also, this is a radio, a CD, and DVD player, so if you do wanna watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop it right in there. You're able to watch it on the TV. Then additional storage, you have storage right here down below, as well as storage right here up top. You can see the nice tinted glass on there, so just great storage throughout. Last thing, let's head on up into the bedroom. So there are a number of things I like about the Passport bedroom. Uh, one of them that I wanna start with right away, for me, probably the biggest feature is this right here. This is a full residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. The reason that's a huge advantage, if you're a taller person and you're sick of your feet hanging off, you know, in these RV beds, then you're gonna love this one because that won't happen. Well, unless you're tall enough, it happens at home, but you know, having that extra length is a huge advantage. Uh, also, if you ever do want to replace the mattress, you can just buy a normal residential mattress, put it in here, and it's not a problem. It will fit. And then another thing I love, take a look at this right here. You know, you have a lot of kids. Sometimes you want a little bit of privacy of your own, so that's not a problem. Instead of putting curtains in here, they put actual doors. So you can go ahead and slide these shut, get that extra added privacy. And if you do want a TV in here, they went ahead and put a space right there so you can mount the TV. Uh, and you know, that way as you shut the door, you're able to go ahead and watch that. Now there is storage underneath the bed. You can lift that up. Then there's additional storage all the way around the bed. You can see on both sides you have mirrored hanging wardrobe space, little shelf up top, and then shelf down below as well. Both sides do have electrical outlets, so if you need to charge a cell phone, plug in a CPAP machine, you can certainly do that. Also you have storage all the way across right here with the nice tinted glass finish on the front. LED lights both here as well as two underneath for a reading light. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Keystone Passport 2920BH. This is a phenomenal bunkhouse unit. If you have a growing family or you know you have some kids that wanna take friends or you know cousins, whatever it may be, this is a great way to do it. You have the four bunks in the back. You have the U-shaped uh, dinette, which drops down into a bed. You have the jackknife sofa, which drops down into a bed. You get the outside kitchen, the power awning. I mean, this is just one you have to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions about the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for the latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.